March 24th, Bridger National Forest in western Wyoming. And today I started from Salt River Pass and I'm gonna climb maybe 1,200 feet up to uh, some of these hills that are just over here. And these slopes, uh, they range from 20 to 25 degrees. They should make for really nice tailmark skiing. Uh, it's pretty warm, it's probably about 40 degrees and we had fresh snow last night. Uh, so it should, it should be a lot of fun. So we'll see how it goes. Well, we've come to that point in the climb today where it's too steep for the fish scale pattern on my skis. Need a little extra grip, so I'll we'll go ahead and put the skins on. Just passing through the 8,000 foot level on this climb. It's gotten a little steeper. I had to switch back and forth quite a bit, even with skins. And uh, you can see Salt River Pass down below us. It's a great view from up here, beautiful day. But as I approach the top, you can see some cornice activity. So that could mean some unstable slopes near the crest. So we will uh, definitely be cautious as we get near the top. Looks like this is the top. Time to take the skins off. My watch is showing an elevation of 8130. One of the things I wanted to mention about these Volley Switchback X2 bindings is they have a dual position riser so that when you're skinning up a steep slope, depending on the angle, you can either pick the low riser or the high riser. It just uh, makes it a lot easier on your muscles when your foot's level.
Well, I just finished my run, and I thought I'd talk a little bit about these Fisher BCX 125s that I've been using this season. I like the ski a lot. But probably the best thing I like about it is that any time you have a small hill to go up, you can just use the fish scale patterns to climb that little slope without having to put skins on. And for a lot of the stuff I do, it involves rolling terrain. And as you can see, as I point this direction, this is the hill that I had to come down this morning to get to the hill I wanted to climb. And so now I gotta go back up it. There's probably 200 feet of climb there. It's just a pain in the butt to put the skins back on to do that with. But if I take a shallow enough angle, I can go ahead and climb this slope. And uh, these skis are what Fisher calls uh, a Nordic ski. It's not an alpine ski. It's not really a, a traditional ski in the sense that you see people who do a lot of steep backcountry skiing do use. It has a, a Nordic camber to it, or a Nordic rocker as they describe it. That allows you to glide a little easier on level terrain by keeping that fish scale pattern raised a little bit. Consequently, that stiffer camber probably makes them a little bit harder to ski on compared to a softer camber backcountry ski. But, with all that said, I think they ski pretty well on the downhill runs, at least the stuff I skied this year. And uh, I really appreciate the advantage they have when you have to come back out. So, I highly recommend them. I've got the uh, Volley Switchback X2 bindings and Scarpa T4 boots on them. And it uh, provides a good stable platform and it's a lot of fun. So if you're looking for something that matches the kind of terrain I've been skiing this winter, then by all means, it's a pretty good setup. Mm -hmm.